Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video Truder, and welcome to Subnautica. Okay, so, uh, this one's, uh, this one's a bit tricky for me, because, uh, on the one hand, Subnautica is one of the most often requested games that gets mentioned to me. Loads of people have said over the years, you would love Subnautica, play Subnautica, it would be great. On the other hand, however, some of you may be aware, I've got a couple of things in this world uh, that I'm pretty bloody scared of. One, carnivorous plants like Venus flytraps and stuff freak me the hell out, which made the Kashyyyk level in Jedi Fallen Order really bloody fun. Can I walk around the outside of it? <coughs> and the other is certain really freaky alien looking deep sea creatures like, you know, jellyfish or anglerfish, which made Outer Wilds really fun as well. They might not even consider bothering to eat. And Subnautica is a big underwater explorey crafty survivally sort of game filled with giant monsters that are gonna swim up to you and then try and eat your face off. And like, just so you understand, even this little start screen, this is interrupting my calm right now because the ocean's just like, it's conceptually terrifying, isn't it? Like, if you're in the ocean and you just look around and it's just water as far as you can see in every direction, you're screwed. Like, you can't move effectively, you can't fight effectively, you can't see effectively, and beneath you, where you can't see them, there's all these creatures that are way more at home there than you are, that could be below you, about to eat you. Right now, I'm just not good with the ocean. All right, but I also know this is an extremely well-regarded game, considered really, really, really damn good. So, uh, we're gonna do this, it's gonna be fine. Okay, so remember how I was saying a second ago that, you know, being in the middle of the ocean with nothing in sight in any direction was kind of my worst nightmare? So that's, that's where the game begins, as it turns out. I'm in a little escape pod. I presumably came from that big ass ship. That's just crashed, but it isn't sinking. So, you know, I'll take that as a win. And now I need to just, like, survive. So that's, that's good. Right, back into the escape pod, please. What have we got here? Damaged radio, use repair tool. Well, I don't have one of them. What I've got is a fire extinguisher. That's, that's literally, that's literally it. So, okay, need to make things at some point. Use fabricator. Aha, here we go. So, I need to make myself, like, you know, food and drink and resources and stuff. So, this is baby's first crafting table. And I think I see what we're doing here. So, yeah, if I want to make things, I need materials. If I want materials, I need to scavenge from the ocean. So, metal salvage could be used to make titanium. If I want silicon rubber, gonna be needing creep vine. Oh, I don't trust creep vine already. So, copper ore for copper wire, acid mushroom and copper ore for batteries. Okay, so, basically, pick stuff up from sea in terms of water, filtered water, ingredients unknown. Okay, great. Don't know how to make water. And uh, disinfected water. And need, need bleach for that. Okay, that's... That strikes me as a bad idea. Don't drink bleach. Ah, here we go. So now, equipment. O2 tanks, fins. This all seems important. Okay, O2 tank. Titanium. Just need to find myself some metal. Can have some of that. That seems good. Also, I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to be needing, you know, food at some point. And scanner. Battery and titanium. Okay, I saw... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I saw a uh, battery a second ago. Battery was uh, acid mushroom, uh, copper ore. Fine. I'm guessing as that's the top of the list, I'm going to be needing some of that. So I'm going to be needing a scanner, going to be needing an O2 tank. Yes, that all seems, uh, that seems useful. Deployables, maybe worry about that later. I genuinely don't want to dive into the water, but here we go. And can I... Ooh. Okay. This is not as bad as I was worried about. It's quite pretty in here. So I can hold my breath for, say, a terrifyingly large amount of time. Are you an acid mushroom? Yes, you are. And apparently there's flipping loads of you. Okay, so acid mushrooms, uh, that's not a problem at all. Need oxygen, go back up to surface. Now, hang on, I think I saw over here. Yes, that looks like there's something over there. And Oh, maybe go back under the water. I don't want to be uh, crept up on here. Hello, you're a fish. I think I'm going to be needing to eat you. So would you like to... Yeah, come, come back here, 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 come back here. Grab, 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 grab. And... Ooh! Okay. Uh, I found it. Ooh! What? What the cock was that? And then a Gary fish. And... Oh, sorry. My oxygen's running a bit low. Get back up to the surface. 
I need to... Do I need to actually, like, you know, cook this fish? Or can I just... Oh. Okay, this big... Big shoot. Hello? Oh! Okay, watch out for big red fish. They occasionally just run at you screaming and... What was this over here? Oh. No, that was just a... Uh, Wait, what on earth was this? Okay, there's my ship over there, highlighted in orange. I mean, I guess this was... Oh, this was part of a creature then, wasn't it? Okay. So, I got myself a bit of fish. Can I just eat the fish? I don't know whether I can eat the fish. But what I'm going to be needing is, yes, the game said... Uh, copper and... Ooh, break limestone. Okay, hang on. Top up my oxygen. Everything's under control here. Break limestone. Okay, break that by hand. That gets me copper. Lovely. Copper is good. Ooh, there's big things over there. Okay, maybe keep my distance from from them for the time being. I don't trust anything that large for the minute. Okay, I need I need metal. And I need it from a place where, you know, people aren't gonna... How about the birds? I just eat the birds. I feel like I should just eat the birds. Okay. Need to go and find something. Hello? Are you going to be a friend? Or are you going to be a dick? Can I capture you? You're too big to capture. I can capture little things. You're a bladder fish. Oh, is that metal? That looks like metal. Okay, there might just be, yeah, metal salvage from the fact we, you know, accidentally just crashed on this here planet. So, oh dear. Okay, yes, eat something. I know. I'm just a bit worried about the lads with the massive mace tails. Okay, back to the thing here. I can make stuff now. So, sustenance. Water. Filtered water with... Okay. A bladder fish. If I feed, like, water through that fish, it filters it for me. Okay. So we're gonna use the bladder fish. Okay. Big purple fish thing makes thing. Cooked food. So I can cook a peeper. I could have cooked the bladder fish, but I turned it into water. And I can cook, yeah, peepers. Together with... Gonna take a little bit of time to do that. Okay. Food is plentiful. Food, not a problem. Got it. So get that sorted out. Lovely. Here we go. And I've got the copper oil I need for the battery. So make myself a battery right now. Together with some... Ooh. Blueprints. Okay. So I'm learning about new blueprints. Got it. Power. Oh. Power's going down. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, okay. Titanium. Yes. Make some of that. Turn the salvage into proper... Titanium, please. That strikes me as useful. Okay, now I've got all of that. Back over to here. And now I could have a standard O2 tank. Or, okay, I can have a scanner and an O2 tank. So now I can swim deeper, longer. Okay, this is fine. Get the basic set up here. This is useful flipping stuff. So, consume fish. Okay, so those little fish with the yellow eyes, uh, them's good eating. And as for you, filtered water. Okay, that wasn't that much. I've also got, yeah... A bunch of acid mushrooms. Probably too much, actually. Okay, maybe I should just store those away for the time being. And like, uh, do I have a locker in here, by the way? Is there like a, a locker or anything? There's... Okay. There's a medical kit fabricator. Ah! Slowly refabricating more and more medical kits over time. Got it. Radio. Okay, hang on. What was the repair kit? How do I make one of them? Titanium cave sulfur silicone rubber. Okay, silicone rubber. Where do I get that from again? That was, ah, creep vine seed clusters. So, uh, yellow dangly bits attached to seaweed or something. Yeah, I could just go out this way. This is fine. Assuming there's not like a shark waiting for me. Hello, oh, there were things waiting for me. Oh, now it's night. I don't like that one little bit. Okay, I need to go and find, could I just wait for it to be day? I'd be happier if it was day. And, oh, self scam. I'm going to scan myself now. I'm a person. Hooray for me. So now, I can scan things. Okay. I'm going to scan you. Acid mushroom. Okay. Scan things. The game said, learn by scanning. Rabbit ray. Oh, hello. There's, there's stuff here. That is... Coral. Alright. Give it a scan. And uh, maybe get back up to the surface. Oh, hang on. Oh, good. It's nearly dawn. That's nice. Uh, how much... Air do I have right now? Up to like 70 seconds. Okay, I can definitely be underwater for longer right now. Apparently like that little krill or planks or whatever. Can't do anything with that. Oh, hello, hello. No, no, come back here. Come back here, you. That is a shuttle bug. Okay, don't think I've got one of them yet. I'll catch it if I can. No, it's too big to grab. I need cave sulfur. Now, 
call me Mr. Cocky Crazy, but I would say, yeah, that's going to be inside a cave. I don't need more acid mushrooms. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during Planet 4. Oh, okay. I uh, might be a bit... Oh, careful. Watch out for you, Mr. Explodey Man. You're going to burst in a second. Okay, that's going to make you difficult to uh, to scan, actually. And, oh. Also, maybe I shouldn't be, uh, like, you know, going into cave systems without, you know, enough oxygen and... Uh-oh. 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 Where's the, where's the sprint function? Yes, yes, I'll be going up there momentarily. Right, maybe don't go into, like, cave systems right now. There we go. Much flipping better. I still need some flipping. Actually, hang on. John, the Aurora. That's going to be where you get stuff from, you daft bastard. I mean, the Aurora's literally made out of metal. Presumably, there's going to be good salvage on that thing. Also, hello. Giant coral tube. Okay. So, uh, let's learn about this here. Yes, we can learn about everything. So, uh, what is it? I don't know. Maximizing water and nutrient flow through a colony. Ah, funnel water down the tube, filtering it. Okay. What about you, Mr. Writhing Weed? Scam. And what do we know about you? So, nothing particularly of interest. Can we pick you up? No. And you're not doing that much writhing, to be honest. I'm a little bit disappointed. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come back here. Please hold still. Are you a Gary fish? I'm not sure if you're a Gary fish. Oh, no. Mushrooms bloody getting in the way. Okay, there's definitely something over there. That's that's a big old kelp forest or something. But I'll take whatever this is. By the way, what are you? You need to be... Excuse me. Come back here, Mr. Boomerang. Mr. Boomerang fish. Thank you. And apparently you are grabbable. You're not trying to eat me. You know what? Anything that's not trying to eat me, I'm going to consider a friend right now. And is that a chest or like a box or something? No, I'm completely uninterested in, yeah, the box that I just found. I would have thought that would be pretty bloody exciting myself. But, yeah, there's even like giant piles of metal here. This has got to be worth a lot of... Okay, I can't use this metal for whatever reason. It's like too big. It's too much metal. Now that, that's got to be important. All right, scan that sea glide fragment. Okay, okay. Need to scan things to learn things. And maybe actually just like, you know, go and grab some, uh, go and grab some auction at some point. Okay, this is fine. The sea is not scary. The sea is full of happy, friendly food. All right. Fish are food, not foes. Okay, and I'm finding plenty of wreckage here. Plenty of wreckage. Scan that. Grab that. Titanium. Inventory seems uh, pretty generous for the time being. And oh. Hello, you're terrifying, I'll admit. Floater. Just give it a scan, please. Indigenous life form. Oh, it's got teeth. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, okay. So, may aid in flotation of sunken objects. Can I grab it? Okay, I could grab it and it didn't try and eat me. Instead, I shall convert it into something. Ah, hang on. That's why this rock was... I see. If you see a floating rock, you know there's going to be floaters on it. Because otherwise, it wouldn't float. Also, I'm about to die of oxygen. There we go. Everything's under control. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to go vaguely close by to these guys. Because I want to give them a scan. I mean, are they just like manatees? Are you just manatees? Are you actually... Okay, he's doing something. I'm going to give him a scan. Okay, he's not attacking me directly, but I'm guessing that's poison gas or something. Right? And that was not the creature I was just scanning. Gasopod! Okay, tell me about gasopods. What are these? And herbivores! I love a good herbivore. So, a slow-moving life form. Approach with caution. Acidic pods may be... Ah! Acidic pods may be retrieved. All right. I think we got ourselves something of interest here. Stop up the auction fully here. Okay. Can I maybe grab the pod before it bursts? And come on, come on, come on, come on, grab, 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 grab. Okay. So it's going to burst, and that's going to do me... Oh, that's going to do me damage. But if I can get the pod fast enough, that is potentially useful. Okay, grab one of... This one's, like, on the edge. So let's let's just let that go, go, and then... Go, go! I didn't get that. And so, oh! Okay, you die fast. 
because that was assets. Okay, just go for whichever one is closest. And that one looks nice and close. There we go. Got one. Now swim away. Don't get greedy. All right, just get a couple. We've got ourselves some good materials here, including plenty of metal. All right, maybe what I should do now is make a trip back and dump it somewhere. Because, yeah, I've got plenty of stuff to cook and this reef. Okay, hang on. Exploitable in computer chip fabrication. Right, I'm guessing I'm going to be using like a, a drill or something to get that off. What I need to do now is, yeah, top up my food and water. Should be absolutely fine. Just get in the ship right here. Okay, everything's under control. And now I need to figure out, yeah, what's next on my list of things to do. Okay, fins, rubber, need the rubber. So yeah, that cave stuff, hang on, that was cave stuff, wasn't it? You wanted me to get, no, you wanted me to get yellow stuff. Yellow stuff off seaweed or, yeah, the creepvine seed cluster or some cave fungus for, what was that for? I swear there was something I needed cave fungus for. Yes, repair tool, cave sulfur, sorry. So cave sulfur, that's going to be important. And a battery and glass. Okay, hang on. Where's, where's glass? How do I make myself some glass here? Quartz. Okay, that's going to be important for caves, I assume. And uh, waterproof locker. You know what? I wouldn't mind having a locker. That does seem like a good idea. So I can just drop stuff off by my base while I'm passing by. Because right now I can't actually store anything. Never mind. Just after crafting that, I discovered my storage container. So that's, that's unfortunate. Right, so I can just store stuff there. Okay, let's start focusing on some objectives here. I feel like, yeah, right now, finding myself some cave sulfur, not a bad idea. Let's start looking around some caves. I've got, apparently, surprisingly well-lit area around here. Oh! Okay, give that thing a scan, please. And, oh! Stay out of the suicide fish's cocky way. Yeah, I need to find myself some, either some cave sulfur, or, yeah, that creep thing. Now, where's creep thing gonna be and I can't scan where you came from. Okay, I've got full air tank right now. Go deeper underwater despite not having access to- ooh. Is that just a little tube? No, that's just a tube. That's not that interesting. Uh, there's- aha! What? Oh, uh-oh. One of them's about to attack me, I think. Okay, that's where I just heard the scream of that. And sandstone outcrop. Give it a scan, because why not? Silver-based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. You'd start making my way back up towards the surface here. Okay, good. Luckily, you can just loop around. Okay, and it's day. A light day. Day is, you know, really good for restoring my sense of calm. All right, my sense of calm is is good during a day. Okay, so now it's now it's light. Now I'm happy. Okay, so that got me some silver ore, tiny bit of quartz, so I might be able to make myself some glass. Ah, hang on. I see what's going on here. Food does actually go off. Luckily, water does not. So you're going to become, yeah, cooked peeper. It's going to become old cooked peeper. It's going to become, at some point or another, rotten. So watch out for that. Okay. And also, how much space do I have in my storage container? Is that basically already filled up, by the way? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Quantum detonation. Also, ooh, Weetabix. Okay, there's Weetabix here. That's probably pretty good. Okay, so don't pick up. You know what? Maybe I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dump some of these acid mushrooms. I feel like we don't need them, given they're literally cocking everywhere. We could just dump those in the sea. There we go. Just dump the mushrooms back from whence they came. Beautiful. Okay. Now, need to go and find myself some... Ooh, hello. Okay, this, this looks more interesting. Massive coral tube thing equals quartz. And here's good. This actual tube, aside from being excellent, also leads down into... Uh, a cave system. And hello, do I need to scan you? Yes, I've not technically scanned it. Excuse me, I'm trying to scan a Gary fish. Get out of the cocking way. Gary fish are weird. They're very weird. I'd like to think I'm just naming these so, you know, I had a friend called Gary on the ship. He's dead now, but I've named this fish after him. Also, I've sort of accidentally come close by to uh, a kelp forest here. Now, if I had to guess, then... Oh, hello. You're new. 
Hoop fish. Give it a scan, give it a scan, give it a scan. Learn about hoop fish. Hello, what do hoop fish do? Edible. Okay, if I had to guess where I got, what was it called? Um, creep things from. This feels like the source of creep things. These guys feel slightly sinister and creepy. Keep an eye out though. Ah, I see yellow over there. Okay, top up my oxygen, then we're going in, but keep your eyes open. Scan the creep vine. Because, yeah, so far we've run into nothing but, you know, some lovely herbivores. And I feel like that's... Ooh. Okay. Now this is a lot of creep vine. Oh, this is this is marvellously good news. Apparently there's... Uh-oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What are you? There's something big over there. Okay, there's something really big over there. Okay. That's, I'm guessing that's the first thing that ain't a bloody her before. But for the time being, I've got myself, uh, check my inventory. Oh, those things are big. Okay, they fill up more space. Hello, I'd like to scan you. Just to verify what you are. Keep my distance, keep my distance. And just give it a, oh, it doesn't like me. Oh, it's called a stalker. It's called a stalker and it's trying to murder me. I'd, I'd like to scan it, please. Oh, oxygen. Yes, that's the thing I need to, uh-oh. Just hold your breath for one second. I'm almost there. Ah! Okay, that's fine. Okay, I can now make lubricant with creep vine seed cluster or plenty more glass or silicon rubber. Fine, so lubricant or silicon rubber. Silicon rubber is what I need though. I need plenty of that because I can make myself some fins. Then I can swim faster. And that strikes me as very useful. Fins. Flipping sweet. Okay, now that's good. Now, high capacity O2 tank is glass times two, titanium times four, standard oxygen tank, and silver ore. Okay, I might actually be fairly close to that, actually. Hang on, silver. Oh, but hello, sexy. Hello, survival knife. Okay, so... So, 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 so. Now, Mr. Stalker, we shall see who the one being stalked is. Habitat Builder. Computer chip wiring kit battery. Yeah, this life pod is not looking so uh, hot. Got the rubber I need. Got titanium. Just need, yeah, cave sulfur. That now feels like that's becoming the priority. Though I wouldn't say no to a high capacity oxygen tank. So, uh, glass we've got to be okay for right now. We've got to have flipping loads of glass. I just picked up a ton of quartz. So glass, that's a-okay. Flashlight also needs battery. Would not mind having a flashlight. That's certainly true. But I feel like, yeah, priority's got to be this thing. So glass times two, titanium times four, that's fine. Yeah, need a tiny bit more silver. So okay, go looking for silver. That seems to be down in caves. Then next should be flashlights. That needs battery. Battery needs... Okay, Two acid mushrooms. I've got the copper ore. That's fine. I'll just go get those mushrooms I dropped. Okay, so now, now I've got myself a flashlight, which is good because it's literally night right now. So that's good. I got myself a nice little, yes, swishy knife for stabbing. Excellent. Together with a scan tool and I feel like the fire extinguisher is not that useful in many ways, but whatever. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, that's very pretty. Uh, okay, stay focused on what we know we need to to do here, which is we know there is, yes, close by to where I start, there's this area right here, this big tunnel. Step one, grab quartz. We need, I think, a tiny bit more quartz. Hang on, I think we were okay for quartz, actually. What I really need is silver. So head deeper underground and, oh, I don't like that one little bit. That's, oh! That, ooh, okay, I can blast myself through the water. What's in limestone? That's titanium. Okay, none of this is sandstone. It's, ooh, lead. Okay, that might be useful. Gold! And silver! There's the silver. Okay, so I've got what I needed. Uh, right, go over to uh, flashlight. Does flashlight recharge by itself also? Hello, your dinner now. I think flashlight more or less, ooh. 18 seconds. Yes, this is why we need the actual high capacity um oxygen tank. I feel like uh, we definitely don't have enough oxygen right now. Hello. What are you? Pick up... Ooh, egg. Alien egg. That's 
probably a bad idea to touch, to be honest. And 30 seconds remaining. Well, that's fine. That's plenty. Limestone, not titanium. That's the last thing I need. Do I have enough silver, by the way? I think I might need... Oh! Okay, I don't want to go in... Oh, I definitely don't want to go in there. Hello. Hi. Sorry. Accidentally went up to the... Um, the, the bit where there was the, the actual creatures that try and kill you. Sorry about that. And now, boom. High capacity oxygen tank. I am the king of the cocking sea. Flipping love it. So, 135 seconds and creature egg. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it in this locker right here. Because this locker right here, this isn't inside the ship. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna store this here with the spare titanium. Okay, so batteries can be unloaded or reloaded. So batteries are one off, then they eventually burn down. So, uh, okay, that's why mushrooms are everywhere. Because you need an endless supply of new batteries sooner or later. So uh, don't get the torch out unless you have to. Okay, next objective, uh, repair tool. Which kind of feels like, yeah, I've skipped past here. So, still so haven't found any bloody cave sulfur, wherever that is. So, uh, Okay, we're going cave diving, but now I've got myself 135 seconds, that's a lot easier to do than finally- Ah, okay, end of step one here, habitat builder, computer chip, wiring chip, battery. Battery's easy, computer chip and wiring chip. That's just silver ore, so that's just kind of down in caves. Computer chip is gold, copper wire, table, coral. Okay, copper wire is copper ore, we've got loads of that. Now I've got a knife. Now I've got a knife here, by any chance, can I just take this and make it into something better? Hang on. Give it a stab. Aha! Okay, computer chip. Got what I need for that. I just need to get, hang on, some copper. Do I have copper in here or is that outside? I think that's... No, I've got some here. That's fine. Grab, grab. Right, use that to make computer chip because... Copper wire. No, hang on. Need to make the copper wire first, okay? It's not like Factorio. You need to do it manually, step by step. So, computer chip. Need one of those. And advanced wiring kit. Okay, I'm learning things as I go. Okay, massive air tank in hand. That means we're going underwater. It's day for now. I'm pretty sure we saw down in this direction. Check this stuff. Is it always quartz or it sometimes might be silver? I think it might be... Oh! Don't miss the limestone. That's titanium. That's garbage. Uh, maybe get this on, by the way. Actually, we don't really need that, to be honest. Just... It does... Oh! You're about to do a bit of a, a burst straight... Oh! Run! Bloody bastards. I do not like those guys. Those guys are dead. I've still not seen anything that looks like bloody cave sulfur. Maybe I'm just not deep enough. Uh-oh! Hi! Hi there. Could I give you a scan while you just seem to be not actually fussed by me? Because I'm guessing you're... No, no, come back, come back. Don't know what you're doing down here, by the way. I haven't seen you down here before. And nearly got you. Come, come back. I think he's stuck, actually. Okay, good. Now he's in a good position. Right. Stalker. Now, can I actually have you, mate? And... Oh, yeah. Screw you. Uh, also, I should, like, go to the surface. I think it's actually fastest to go out this way than straight up. Okay, much as I don't like it, it looks like the deep water is actually close by to uh, the kelp. Alright, which is also where the predators are, but I do have, you know, a decent amount of air. So I just need to get down further, because this is clearly where there are some things we haven't seen before. Sandstone is good, that's lead right there. You're a hoverfish. I've seen you guys dotted about, but I'm not going to be... Oh, oh, hello. Hi. Hi there. If you're going to cause trouble, I'm going to flip it. Stab you. Naff off. All right. Naff off. You have been cocking warned. Oh, now this is looking sort of good in its own way. All right. There's stuff here. There's stuff here I ain't seen before. There seems to be a nice deep bit. Okay. Go straight up from where I am. And then straight back down again with a full tank. Don't know where I am precisely right now. But I'm not seeing anything that appears to be eating me like too much. And this appears to be a good area. And I've got myself, yeah, straight down here. There's little puffs of acid dust. Oh, that's... You look potentially dangerous. Okay, we're getting into maybe... Oh, yeah, you... You look bad, actually. You look kind of... 
not not friendly. Uh, maybe I can give you a scan. I kind of feel like, yeah, I want to scan some stuff if I can. Hello. Give him a scan. Hello, I want to be friends. Oh, is that just, did that just say shark? I think that just straight up said shark there. Good. Um, how about we... Maybe he doesn't want to eat me. Oh, he wants to eat me. He wants to eat me. He wants to eat me. Uh, well, if he's going to come at me, we may as well scan him. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm scanning you. Please just, just don't mind me. There we go. Sand shark, specifically. Doesn't seem that fast, mind. Doesn't seem that fast at all. Definitely feels like we're moving out of, like, you know, the safe shallows here, though. And, oh. Uh-oh. What? A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. What? The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9. How eight, close am I to the Aurora right now? Six. Oh, I'm a bit I'm a bit close. How close am I? Oh, I'm further away than the Should I be underwater for this? Does that provide any protection against like Maybe I should have gone and explored that earlier. Okay, I'm feeling like that's bad. And uh-oh, radiation suit. Uh-oh. So, just out of interest, how radioactive is the starting area now? Because I'm guessing somewhat... Okay, logically, radiation suit would require, like, uh, yeah, uh, rubber or something. Does that make any sense? No, that would be anti-electric suit. Electricity and radiation are broadly the same thing, I think. Radiation suit. Lead. Ah, yes, lead. I've been picking up lead. That is a thing that you use to protect against radiation. Together with fiber... Fiber mesh. Where was fiber mesh and what do I need for that business? Concerningly, I have no idea. I know I need it to make a rebreather or a first aid kit or a radiation suit, but I don't know where it actually comes from. Well, a self-scan's saying normal, so don't seem to be dying of radiation yet. Oh my goodness, I've just been walking past it this whole time. It's... it's right cocking here. Sulfur plant. Right, so the stupid fish thing. They burst out of the sulfur plants. Okay, me and the crash fish might be able to get on in that case, because apparently they're the source of sulfur. That's where it comes from. Okay, life just became much easier. Yes, I was supposed to find the sulfur before I found the silicon rubber, but screw it. Okay, now I've got this thing. Now I can repair. And I don't know precisely what it is I'm repairing, but I assume it's good. And I'm going to fix this too, by the way, whatever it is. Radio, play message. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine. Right, so I might hear about other life pods. Someone else might be alive out here with me. Flotation devices, hull integrity, uncharted ocean planet, I've got an ID. Waterborne bacteria levels, oh. Hopefully I'm wearing a mask. Okay, we're gonna be here a while. Let's actually get this place sorted out properly. So, computer chip, check. Battery, need one of them. Can make one of them right now. Battery, not a problem. Just need a couple of flipping mushrooms. Only thing remaining, wiring kits. Just need more silver. So, uh, go underground, deeper and deeper, and we might just get lucky there. Hang on, I've got one silver on me right now. By any chance, do I have, like, a spare? That looks like silver. Silver ore! Boom! Right, I think I've actually got enough to do that immediately in that case. Oh, this feels like a big moment. This feels like a very big moment. Habitat builder. Kaboom! Right. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, hang on. So this thing is like a... a buildy thing. So, foundation need... oh, lead. Lead is not the most common thing in the world. Got it. I've got some of that, but not... not enough, to be honest. So, uh, Okay, component is titanium. Most of this is just titanium. Need a bit of glass too, but glass isn't so bad and... Hang on, why is... What? Does that mean signal? This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. 
Right, someone else is alive. Life Pod 6, Transmission Origin. So, we don't know where it is. There's no just like, you know, magic way to tell. But, okay. Red grass. Close by to a number of natural arches and rock stacks. I know precisely where that is. Also, it's close by to Life Pod 4. 400 meters west, northwest. There's no compass in this game, is there? No, no, there's not. And I can't use the sun because the sun rising in the east and setting in the west is that's just like an earth thing. That's not necessarily true elsewhere, right? I don't think so. So, okay, we got we got problems there, but I think I remember where that. Oh, but I think it was in this direction, and the reactor did just go critical. Right, okay. Um, mesh. We need mesh before we can go back over there, I suspect. Okay, apply some common sense here. Apply some common sense. We can be extremely confident that, yeah, there is not going to be mesh made from, like, rock. It's going to be made from some form of plant matter. The only significant plant matter around here is, uh, one, these mushrooms and whatever, and, yeah, like the, um... Uh, writhing weed. So, uh, number one, check whether we can do anything to, like, chop a bit up. No. I think it was just trying to defend itself, actually. So, we can't just cut off some of that. Can we cut off... Ooh. Okay. Giant coral tubes. Okay, so, uh, hitting things with a knife absolutely can get you samples you wouldn't normally be able to get. So, where was that... Big old forest of kelp. I think it was more in this direction. Uh, am I thinking in the right direction here? If we go past the manatees, I think if the water's getting deeper, I'm going in the right direction. Also, I'm low on basic supplies, so grab fish while I'm passing by. So, go up to you and... Aha! Yes! There we go. Get as much as we can. We need a bunch of that. And, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Someone's around. Someone's around. Screw you. No, go away. Nav off. You want to take me on? No, no, you flipping don't, though. Possibly, possibly it's blood is acid or something. So maybe we, maybe we nav off in case it wants to do some, some more. Okay, it's fine. Stay underwater, though. Otherwise, I can't cocky see. There's one over there. Yeah. You're going to live and let live, or you're going to be a dick? Because if so, I will introduce your face to Mr. Knifey. And now, rad suit. Okay, that strikes me as really, really cocking important, given the quantum generator just went explosion. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, it's daylight. I have now got rad protection. So if I navigate vaguely towards, yeah, the ruins of the ship, I believe if I go towards the kelp forest, which I believe is in this direction, don't do it. Just naff off. I think he's looking for, oh, I think he's looking for something smaller and more like, you know, edible for him. Yeah, we go to the kelp forest. We take a right around it. Because, yeah, this game's got no map and no compass. You've just got to learn to navigate by yourself. Then, at that point, I believe... Yeah, there's the kelp forest right there. I believe we come to the red area, which is exactly where the game wants me to go next. So, just avoid those guys. Yeah, they seem... They seem interested in metal. They want to go and grab some metal. Okay. There's no reason to... You know, not actually have full oxygen before we go down. Because we can see far enough for now. And that's a good supply of metal right there. Now, I believe... I believe that... Hang on, what's, what's that down there? That's unusual. Hello. That's brain coral. Okay. Give it a scan. Give me some information here. Is it usable? Air tanks are equipped to siphon... Aha. Okay. So, can I, like, top up oxygen for that? Oh, there we go. Life pod 3. Okay, so I've got signal for that. Maybe I should start with them. I mean, I know where they are. No, I'm going in this direction. All right. We're going towards the distress signal. Those guys sounded like they were in 
more distress. So we're going to start... We're going to start there. Oh, this is... This is not how I remember this looking, to be honest. Okay, so uh, we go through here. Hello. Do you need me to knife you, or are me and you cool? I think me and you are cool. We go through that area, straight past it. I need to find a... There was a deeper area. A deeper area with lots of red. And also, hang on, if there's a... If there are bladder fish, I'll grab them. There we go. That's a deeper area. And excuse me. I'll be having you, thank you. Is this where I was before? I don't think it is. Okay. Navigate versus the surface. I see lots of standy uppy things. Top up the oxygen one last time, then we're going down to have a look see. I'm not seeing anything bad, but the problem is. Okay. We're approaching the rear of. The ship. And yeah, red grass and lots of standing things. Double check the notes here. Sunk to approximately 100 meters. Located in an area, number of natural arches and rock stacks, dense red grass. Okay, and 400 meters west of life pod 4, but I don't know where that is. Okay, if I go down to here, then yeah, I've got my depth right here. This is approximately... 100 meters. They could be... Oh, that's a deep old area, mind. I mean, I feel like this is about right. There's archers. There's standing stone things. Top up my oxygen, then we're going down for another loop scene. Also, yeah, make sure I know where I am. So I'm... Uh, yeah, kind of like if the ship was a clock, I'm at 7 o'clock from the ship. Okay. Now, also, yeah. Scan this area. As best we can. Somewhere in here. I mean, I see debris. I see lots of red. The problem is, yeah, the draw distance isn't actually spectacular in this game. It could be where... What was that giant whaley noise? I don't approve of the giant whaley noise. That's, that's not good. Okay. All of this stuff we've seen before. Do I need to give this a chop? No, can't chop that. Okay, there's... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Hello! Hello! What? Why don't I just take some damage there? What were you, precisely? Ah, you're spitting at me. Okay, that is a tiger plant, but uh, actually focusing on it is tricky. Okay, uh, maybe just get, get out of dodge. Oh, what the cock is that thing? Oh! No, 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 no. Okay, stay the cock away from that. There's a massive thing over there. What are you, by the way? Scanner room fragment. Aha! That, that was just important. Okay, let's let's start going up in the world. There's massive ass things over there. The question is, are they dangerous? And yeah, I feel like I can just basically outmaneuver the sharks. They don't actually seem that dangerous at all. Okay, there's massive ass things over there. I don't really want to take the risk as to whether they want to, like, you know, eat me or not, to be honest. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. Okay, scan myself here. Self-scan complete. Uh-oh. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Okay, I might need some form of protection to swim in this bit of the ocean. This bit of the ocean's getting apparently dicey. But we did find some useful stuff, damn it. Well, if the life pod is in this part of the world, I don't see it. This is probably moving in the right direction, but yeah, it's not right here. Anyway, still, we have a good solid idea where it probably is going to be. Let's check in with the other one, because that one we straight up know where it is. Okay, back at base, topped up all of my various, yeah, supplies here. And this thing is, yes, yeah, Sea Glide damaged. Now, if they're just already dead, I'm not saying I want them to be dead. But if they were to already be dead, then I could just be having their Sea Glide off them. No problem whatsoever. Also, apparently there's there's kelp much closer than I thought. Hang on. So, 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 so. 
If I go towards the rear of the ship, there's a small kelp forest over there and the red bit beyond it. If I go alongside the ship, we're straight into uh, a big old kelp forest there. But I just want to get to the far side of this one, to be honest. I might just stay uh, towards the surface. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Am I about to be jump scared? Spidey senses tingling. Uh, if it does, just knife them. Nothing I've run into so far really enjoys being uh, knifed. So through one forest, that's just some standard uh, table coral. I know about you bastards. That's all absolutely fine. And the sun's coming up. Good. Now I can actually see. If anything comes at me, just stab it. And here we go. So, how are you guys doing? Do you need repairs? Because I... Oh. Um... So, not not doing so hot. But, I'll be having some information, please. One, compass. What I'm going to assume is, they've already gone on their own little adventure, which is going really, really well. That's, that's what's happening. Their adventure is going so well. That's a sea glide fragment. Uh, scan that. Because I swear I've already found one of them. Oh, sea glide! Don't know precisely what a sea glide is. Also, am I still technically infected? Yes, I am. I've been infected with something. I just don't know what it is or how to, like, undo it. By the way, that's also a fragment. There we go. One out of three for mobile vehicle bay. Okay, so I could make myself a compass. I just need a wiring kit and copper wire. So that is uh, silver and copper. Copper is plentiful. Silver, bit... Less so. Check my supplies here. I'm pretty sure I've got... No, none whatsoever. The big one, though. Okay, here's here's the big one right here. So, battery, lubricant, copper wire, titanium, oh my. That's so easy. I've already got some lubricant. I made some early just in case I needed it. Copper wire, titanium, oh, flip me. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. We're good here. Oh, I'm liking this. This is, this is marvellously good news. Right, take the copper ore... Take the lubricant. Take two copper ore to make copper wire. Blend remaining copper with mushrooms from outside to make battery. Picked up titanium already and one sea glide. I don't know what one is, but it sounds good to me. I'm guessing that's a way of making me go fast. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay, I'm guessing we need to build, like, a radio signal at some point. Okay, now. Now, 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 now. This thing, what does it do? And the answer is, uh, makes me go... I mean, I guess slightly fast, but... Ah! Is there also... Ooh, it's a little, little scan function. How much faster am I right now? I guess a bit faster... I can't help but be modestly underwhelmed. Uh, put it away so I go about this fast normally. Or this fast. Okay, I guess that's a bit of a step up, yes. And the power seems to be, yes, it does seem to be efficient. So that's nice. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I'm going to be honest, I don't really want to. Um, having received that message. Not, not particularly. But then again, I do desperately need lead. So, sandstone. That's what I need to find. Sandstone. Because that's the one that produces the lead. And alternatively, silver and gold. Okay, let's just go find some sandstone on our way to finding Ozzy. I really feel like we, we shouldn't bother going to to visit. Do we have a marker for Aussie? I mean, just set up dating PDA. There it is, life pod. Oh, 17. Right, so apparently there's 
There's bloody loads of them. Okay, we're going, but we're gonna go, like, slowly, because on the way, we need to look for, like, sandstone bits and pieces. Like, that's, that's important. And just for reference, we're now moving away from the ship. So, back into the right away from the ship, our visibility feels poor around here, actually. And he did mention giant snake thing. Which makes me feel like this, this in general is, is just a bad idea. Like, I just, I shouldn't come here. Oh, this is dark. Are we actually coming at dusk as well? I think we're coming at dusk. Good! Good, good, good. I've made terrible decisions. Uh, okay. Coming up on 100 meters. Plenty of air. 50 meters down. So oxygen efficiency is just fine. Giant snake thing. That's just a sand shark. Well, actually, maybe. It's got little green blobs in it. I'm not sure if the original one did. There's something down over here. Big deep area. Okay. Give this a scam. Okay, this is blatantly something of interest. Okay, fine. Whatever, scanner. Uh, the scanner doesn't think that's important. I'm going down over... Oh, dear. And this is... Scanner, come on. Oh, 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 flip me. Okay, you need to be stabbed. Excuse... Naff. Naff. Off. That's right, you better run. Okay, uh, scan this thing. Violet bow. Give me some information. Need to know if this is, you know, useful for anything. Common and luminescence, not really. Okay, get back over. Oh, flip auction really goes down fast. Right, so, yeah, with my C thing... I should be able to basically just uh, outmaneuver the sharks. They mentioned Big Snake. I don't see Big Snake, but that doesn't mean Big Snake not here. Okay. There we go. Stranded near cave system under attack. Well, something ate them anyway. Maybe this is just a good way of getting, you know, data and new downloadables and whatnot. What's the new data? Nothing much, but, yeah, mention of a phase gate. The ship contains enough to build a phase gate. Where's the big, big snake thing that attacked them? Well, it's not here right now, so maybe we just, yeah, take advantage of this opportunity to scan a sea moth, whatever that is, and... Okay! That's apparently all I needed for... Oh, no. Sorry. There's another two to go. I thought I had that already. That would have been really lovely of the game, but no, apparently not. I need to find a way to get deeper underwater. Like, I can't go down to that cave system because below 100 meters, uh, my oxygen efficiency is uh, too low. Still, I think I see how the basic game flow goes at this point, which is, uh, yeah, you get a signal, you go investigate it, that gives you a blueprint, gives you more stuff, diddly diddly d. Though, yeah, I do actually need to, you know, at some point set up an actual base. Uh, so how about, while we're just passing through this part of the world, uh, we go into a cave system. Because uh, this looks like it's made out of sand to me. And that's precisely what I... Oh, you're about to burst, aren't you? Um, wait, where did you just... Oh, he's... Okay, just, just avoid. Never mind, don't avoid. Uh, grab the sulfur. You don't see much of it around. Uh, I need to find... Uh, Ideally, yeah, some nice little sandstone. Okay, I found a little cave just beyond the kelp forest near where I started. And I am seeing, here we go, this is precisely what I need. Sandstone. Getting me, well, ideally lead. I just need, like, a few more lead. Maybe we've got enough of baby's first base. But it seems to be, yeah, even in terms of what it is. That's gold. I don't need gold. Whatever you are. Okay, that's some more lead. And also my torch is gone. Okay, definitely need a torch for exploring this sort of an area. Got it. Also, hello there, sexy. Laser cutter fragment. Check boxes. Get nice surprises. And okay, I'm enjoying the, uh, yeah, this, uh-oh. Okay, uh, three, two, one. Yeah, it's good. Now I can, you know, dive and go back under nice and easy. Yeah, it makes it much easier for me to just kind of nip in and out of areas and go right down to the bottom because I can get back out faster too. Okay, things I need to do. Number one, 
insert new battery into torch or hairdryer with torch functions. It does look a lot like a hairdryer. Okay, that's important. Number two, uh, figure out what we need to do here because, uh, yes, lead. I need to get all my lead and a giant pile of titanium and also uh, potentially a bit of glass because I would like, you know, a window. A window would be lovely for my new sea base. So, ah, oh, look at that. Lovely installed on. Ah, existing walls. So I can just put windows in wherever I want to. Okay, now, as for the destination, I think what we want to do is, hang on, go to the surface, navigate from the surface here. Yes, the lovely little red area over in this part of the world. If we just go in this direction, screw all of you idiots, we should pass through the kelp forest and go into a nice little area close by to the ship. All right, and we can make a nice little home right there. It's going to be lovely. Here we go. This area right here. So there's a kelp forest right there. There's the red grass area right here. I feel like this could be a really nice little place for a base. Because, yeah, you've got access to uh, all sorts of materials around here. You've got lots of sandstone from kind of that area down over there. You've got plenty of creep vine. You've got some good, useful local resources. And uh, nothing seems to be trying to eat me right now, which I consider positive as well. That's just more lead. Okay, that there, that was a sign from fate. This, this is where I should settle. Okay, here we go. Foundation. Yes, so all I need to do is find a good spot for that. So we're going to build... Uh, what about a foundation? Can we build a foundation all along here, by the way? Uh, go up a little bit. Yes, we can fit foundation all along here. So we're going to put one foundation right there. So construct, please. Kaboom. Base. All right, next. We're going to put another one down right next to it. Because this is not going to be some little baby scrub home, right? This place is going to be proper nice. Yeah, it feels like the game's just remarkably generous. It just says, yeah, you know what? As long as you're vaguely within 10 meters of a foundation, that's fine. You go nuts. So we're going to put one of them right here. Oh, that's, that's just lovely. That's just absolutely lovely. Now we're going to put a little tube compartment right here. Oh, love it. Love this. This is this is just the thing. Another tube compartment here. And then at the end here, another L glass. Because that's actually, yeah, free in terms of titanium. I'm going to build that right. Right. What do I not have enough of? I bet it's glass. We ran out of glass pretty quick. But that's fine. We can build more. Uh, we also need to build, like, a hatch in order to provide an access point to the... Didn't bring enough quartz for that, actually. Also, does this thing, like, have... Oh, blimey, one of you's right bloody ahead. Does this thing have, like, you know, air in it? Like, because I don't know whether it would. Okay, we're back here. We're back, and now, one, I've got myself, yeah, plenty for that there. And, okay, base hull strength going. Ah, as you add stuff, it gets more, yeah, fragile. Well, we're adding windows, obviously. I know this is going to make it a little bit more, you know, fragile. But I want windows, damn it, all right? We've got a beautiful view here. We're going to be enjoying it. Now, next up, we need a hatch. So we can have the hatch. Okay, you could have it, like, at the end here. Or... Do I want it on the right or the left? I feel like, actually, I want it over this side. Yes, so one hatch. Now, the question is... How do we actually... Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Okay. This thing has no power. I mean... It's here. It's a thing that exists. That's nice. And oh, there was... There were so many tabs I didn't realise were here. So in future, I might be able to bioreact or contain aliens. But for the time being, I don't know how to do that. Over here, we've got ourselves uh, fabricators, uh, radios, medical kit fabricators, wall lockers. Wow, only two titanium. That's actually pretty cheap. Okay. Ooh. Aquarium. Okay. Grow my own fish for some reason. And uh, 
a sign. Okay, that's copper. Okay, so what I need is uh, some copper. Fabricate is the big one. No, that's not the big one. The big one is oxygen. We need to be able to, like, oxygen. Base attached to air pump. Pumps oxygen from a powered habitat to an attached pipe network. And that is involving... Hang on, there was another thing about that somewhere. No, that was something you can make in the fabricator. The fabricator, you can create, like, pipes. So we need to have, like, pipes going up to the surface. I think I basically just need a lot of cocky titanium. I'm pretty sure what I need now is, like, all of the cocking titanium. Okay, step one, we definitely need to have air in this thing. So, base attached, air pump. Is that enough to provide air, or do I need to actually properly hook this thing up to the top? Okay, no, no power. It is, however, somehow dry. Not 100% convinced I know how it's dry, but it is. Okay, 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 this is fine. Just need, uh, yeah, a couple of quartz, some copper. Don't need any of that nonsense. And then, yeah, the big one is fabricators. And then more titanium, more copper. A little bit of gold. Table coral I've got back at base. I mean, medical kit fabricator. We don't need medicine. All right, that's, that's a nice to have. Okay, back at the pot. I've now got, yeah, table coral. I've got gold. I've got titanium. I've got plenty of titanium and copper, in fact. So... Uh, how much copper do we have? That's maybe too much gold, not enough copper. Hang on, just need to do a little bit of switchy rounding there. But I'm going to take basically everything I need with me. Okay, in we go to the dry. And yes, I'm aware nothing's working. It's fine. Don't worry. So what we're going to do is we're going to have... Uh, we probably want, yeah, our production thing close to the door. Because we want it to be nice and accessible. So that's going to go right there. There's a production thing. That's not powered. Uh, that's, that's fine. Because I... I didn't bring enough quartz with me. Okay. This is, this is still fine. This is still A-OK. -okay because... Uh, one locker would be nice, by the way. That would be kind of... I mean, then again, do I want that to be, like, right right here? That can be... Okay, it's, it, it's struggling to struggling to fit, I'll admit. We'll go for a basic wall locker as a starting point. That's still pretty nice. So we're just going to put that there. That's great. There we go. So now, now I can put things into the wall locker that I do not need right now. Like, say, salt. I don't need salt. Or silver, or put a nice sign up. That would be nice. Uh, but yeah, right now I can't do anything with this because... Okay, I didn't bother checking what I actually needed. I just sort of came with a giant pile of stuff and figured that would be that would be good enough. Okay, so we do still need a solar panel, but that's fine. This quartz, like, around. Oh, and there's loads of stuff around here. I found a scanner room fragment a second ago. There's a Seymour fragment right here. We're making some progress. And laser cutter fragments too. Okay, I'm guessing possibly this might be the uh, the remnants of uh, what was it, Pod Four, because we ain't seen much of them. But there does appear to be a lot of debris in this part of the world. In fact, actually, that's that's the third Seymour fragment. Oh, flip me! Well, okay, yeah, that's uh, they were saying they were having problems with their Seamoth, so uh, I'm guessing that means yeah, we've we've just uh, we've just found that. Also. Quartz. Well, everything is coming up Millhouse. Also, it has indeed occurred to me, yes, that I have just actually, uh, yeah, built this solar panel at night. Um, not sure whether that's really going to be providing much power right now. Uh, power zero out of 75. No, no, not, not much. Oh, yes. Yes! I think I've got a... I've got a functional base! Oh my flipping goodness! Right, power is ticking up, um, slowly. Because, yeah, okay. Right, this is fine. This is great news. Okay, so, I've got the basics here. I've got a really nice view. In fact, yeah, can we actually turn the lights down? I've also got MATN sign, obviously. Right, okay. Now, actually, hang on. There's... I can't help but notice... There already seems to be, uh, yeah, oxygen in here. 
Okay, so I don't need to build a massive floating pipe network, apparently, which is interesting because if so, what's what's the point of pipes and a floating air pump if I don't need to? Maybe some things need like extra air, but oh my goodness, yes, yes, I've got a base. Okay, so I'm just going to shove all this stuff in there. That could just go in here out of the way. That's great. We don't need any of this nonsense anymore. Everything is just, everything's gravy. Everything is, everything is beautiful. In fact, that means we've just got like spare stuff up the wazoo. Oh, look at her. She's beautiful. It's like a little observation platform. And there's one of, okay, you know what? As there's a base right here, I'm going to go and I'm going to give you a bit of a look-see. Because I don't think you want to eat me. I think you're just a massive alien whale. All right, I'm going to be brave. Which bit looks the least dangerous? You are a reef bank. Just, 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 no, 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 a bit further away from it, just in case. It doesn't seem to be causing me trouble. I'll feel happier once I've seen her before. And indigenous leviathan. Okay, and officially inside... Hang on, that's, that's inside the same fishes. Yes, herbivores! Well, technically leviathans. Um, feeds exclusive done. Plankton! I am not plankton. Good, but harbors plants, small fish, and metal rich barnacles. Okay, you might actually be useful to me. And we say, oh my. Okay. Veined nettle. We've got all sorts of bits and pieces here. Can't actually uh, harvest that for the time being. We've got, wow, you've got all sorts of cool stuff. And a regress shell. We're going to scan all of this. This might all be very useful indeed. And break barnacle. Okay, that just got me. Oh, copper. Okay, so these guys just doing circuits around here. We're actually going to produce, like stuff for me. That's, that's good. And I'm not hurting it. All right. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing it a favor because I'm like, you know, in a symbiotic relationship with it. That's what I'm flipping doing right now. Uh, is that, can I do anything with that? No. Okay. Now potentially I'm hurting it. Now maybe I should stop. Okay. So that guy in fact was a friend. I think I've learnt a valuable moral lesson here today, which is giant ocean leviathans are not necessarily bad, okay? Mass Effect gave them a bad rep, but actually, maybe for the most part, they're super cool and chill. And by the way, that, uh, that reminds me, I'm pretty sure I did just pick up... Oh, okay, I can't build a sea moth. Because I literally need to build, like, a vehicle bay first. And I don't have to do that. Right, I've accidentally skipped a couple of steps here. Just, uh, just a little bit. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think you get the point. Or actually, to be precise, I think I do. And, uh... I've learned another really nice thing today, which is, I kind of assume going into this, the reason people said, John, play this, play this, play this, was because you wanted to see me being terrified of ocean creatures. But no, I've learned actually, there's not that many terrifying ocean creatures. Yet, anyway, and actually you just wanted me to play it because this is a really, really, really damn cool- Excuse me, get- get out of my shelter, that's not how water or glass works. Yeah, it's a really damn good game. Okay, you know what, absolutely 100% of the bare minimum, it'll be a live stream vote at some point. This will be back in some way or another, this is- uh, this is very cool. And despite the fact that I'm terrified of, you know, giant monstrous... Seriously, guys, stop it. Despite the fact I'm terrified of giant sea creatures, uh, for now at least, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with it all. And uh, I guess the next step would be, uh, yeah, listen to the radio, try and find more pods. Uh, in terms of, like, my next big objective here, I've got a sea glide. So, yeah, I need to actually find... Uh, yeah, mobile vehicle bay. Just kind of, you know, scout around, uh, look for bits and pieces. Maybe get myself a compass and uh, lace cutter. Yeah, I'm working towards lace cutter. Propulsion cannon. Okay, so in case there are big beasties, I do at least get a cannon. That's nice. We will see some more of this, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to all of you who gave me the recommendation. This has been... Uh, 
This has been an absolutely lovely experience. It's gorgeous. It's interesting. It doesn't treat you like a child. It lets you just figure things out by yourself. It's got a wonderful internal logic. You can just, you know, get things just by thinking about them carefully. There's a lot here I like. So keep your eye out. This may well be coming back very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. And this has been Subnautica. Thank you very much. And goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.